Hello. I have got some uh, ribbon. I ordered some, a whole batch from Amazon the other week and there are some colours that I don't really like and this is a colour that it's a very pretty colour but I know it's one I don't really go to very often so I'm going to repurpose it into a few other projects. It's a very pretty peach but I don't tend to use that colour very much so what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to stamp it. I'm going to use this timber brown because it goes with the peach and I've got these stamps the ones that I use for my buttons with the very tiny text on I thought that would suit the um, the actual ribbon before I start actually I'm going to put something underneath the ribbon to protect the paper that I've got down there I'm just going to use a bit from a catalogue just some papers and then I can stamp away without worrying about the surface What I'm doing is I'm very lightly gluing down each end to hold it in place. But you can't see that. So there it is laid out and now I'm going to start stamping. I'm using stays on. And we're going faster. So that is a very quick method of changing that ribbon. I mean, I could use other colours which would look perhaps a bit brighter. Anyway, now I'm going to try painting the ribbon. I've got my tin of watercolours out and I'm going to apply some of the paint to it and see what happens. It is absorbing, that's good. So I'm just going to go over and paint here and there with some lovely cheerful colours. That's a beautiful pink. I think that's opera rose. Oh, love that colour. Nice and beautiful blue. Bit of yellow. It's almost a rainbow by the time I finish this one. Some lovely crimson there. And that is a bit of ultramarine blue. And now some cerulean. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> and a bit of crimson. Oh, uh, not crimson, scarlet. And now I'm going in with um, some black paint. I'm just using acrylic for this. And I'm dabbing through a stencil. I wasn't entirely happy with the result of this. I think it's something I need to work on. It hasn't come through very well. I'm going to have to try some other things to see if I can get a better result. But it gives you an idea of ways you can alter your ribbon. In fact, it's occurred to me, and I've done this in the past before, you can get with a, a nice waterproof, doesn't have to be waterproof actually, a nice fine liner pen. You can write, um, in the past I've actually written the words to a poem on something before. And I'm doing another one. This is my uh, second attempt. I'm not going to, this time I'm not going to use the stencil. So I'm putting the colours on again. Very pretty, night light, nice light colours. And after I've dried it, I'm going to stamp on top of this and again I'm using one of the stamps with the very tiny writing. It might be worth experimenting with a larger, a larger stamp actually. See what results I get. So I'm just going over it. And of course I've messed up my lovely background haven't I? Never mind. <laughs> can use that paper for something else. <laughs> and I quite like that actually prefer that to the plain stamped one I must say it's very really pretty so I'm gonna put that aside for the ink to dry now uh, my next one is have you seen people do snippet rolls they're usually about an inch to an inch and a half wide well I'm going to make a teeny tiny snippet roll I'm going to make very narrow snippet roll this um, this ribbon is about a centimeter wide which is about a quarter of an inch isn't it it's a quarter of an inch Rough, roughly. Uh, so I'm going to try and keep it to not much larger than that. I just think it'd be quite nice in some smaller projects to have a smaller snippet roll. So I'm doing what everyone does. I'm putting on some paper, I'm putting on some fabric, and I'm trying to keep it tiny and delicate. In fact, I'm saying to myself as I'm doing this, small and delicate, small and delicate. <laughs> so covering it all over, 
for the first layer and then for the second layer I'm going in with some fabric bits I've got some bits of lace that I'm going to cut up I use the three-in-one glue for that to be honest you only need a dab of glue because I'm going to be sewing it bit of uh, thread there um, some fancy fluffy ribbon and I've torn out some little butterflies to put on as well because they've got um, they're shiny this lovely bit of sari fabric that's got a bit of shine on it as well so I'm going to pop that all over I'm going to put that one aside to dry and while I'm waiting for that I'm going to make another one. Why not? I'm using that um, Brit roller glue. I've got loads of that stuff because I did a whole batch of wedding invitations last year and I, got, I bought a load. Didn't know quite how much I needed. So it's perfect for this little job. Being as I'm low on glue stick at the moment. Mm. These are such fun. I can see why people enjoy doing snippet rolls now. I'm going to have to do them more often, I think. I might make some normal sized ones. But I really wanted teeny tiny sip it roll for this project. And now I'm popping on the uh, final embellishments. And I should be able to take them to the sewing machine now. And here we are, I've sewn them. Oh, they're lovely, I love them so much. So I've just done a zigzag all along and you can't see the ribbon anymore, hurrah. Just got lovely, um, very, very narrow pretty snippet roll that'd be great in art projects I'm looking forward to using those now very excited been wanting to do that for ages now my next technique is um, again I'm going to have a little strip of this ribbon this is my favorite technique out of all of them I'm getting buttons and I'm going to sew them on I'm going to make a button ribbon so basically so obvious isn't it you just sew buttons on I've kept them to um, pale pastel colors but you don't need to do that I just think it works quite well with this ribbon um, I have got my buttons sorted into boxes and I can I've got some other color ribbons so I can make different color ones to use in projects now with this uh, with these I'm keeping the thread long enough and I'm sewing about four or five before I tie it off so there's spaces there where I can cut it but if you are very sensible you could actually sew each one on individually and cut it cut the thread look at my button box that's my that's my um, neutral color button box um, yes you can sew, sew them on individually so you can cut them anywhere that takes a little bit longer but that's a job that would be nice to do sat in front of the television or something in the evening I shall be doing a few of these I think It's a bit of a slow job, but I know I'll enjoy doing this. I mean, you could glue them down, but I think they look better sewn on. And it begins to feel nice as well. It's got a sort of weight to it, so I really find quite pleasing. There is something about buttons, isn't there? I've got glue on my fingers and I'm finding it difficult to hold things. <laughs> I'm keeping them roughly to the same size with a bit of variation, but um, you could put on larger buttons if you wanted. Just a few more and this little uh, strip of ribbon will be finished. I've got 
in a bit of a tangle with that one, had to restart. So there it is, a lovely button ribbon. And here they all are together. I think the button is my favorite. I love the snippet rolls. Didn't think I'd enjoy those as much. And these will be great as well. I'm going to just show you how they look in a project. I quite like the look of that going across like that, joining two pages together. Again, I think I'll do my own writing in future on that rather than using the stencil. And here's the stamped one, I quite like that as well. That looks good against that page. Nice along the edge there. I shall definitely be using that. And the button one I'm just in love with. That's so beautiful. Gorgeous. So happy with that. That would be lovely on the edge of a page or on the bottom of an ATC or a bottom of a tag, I'm thinking. Love the snippet roll as well. Oh wow, I love that so much. Even this page looks great with the snippet roll, especially with those stars on. Love that. Either side it looks good on. It's very nice on the edges of pages, I think, these ribbon strips. They'd all be, also be nice as danglies um, on the back of a spine as well, incorporated with some other charms and things. So here they are. The two snippet rolls, the lovely button, button ribbon and the stamped and painted ribbons. Very easy projects. And it's nice to be able to use some ribbon that I think I would have ignored. Thank you for watching. Bye.